So um, you're going to do the same thing that you did to import. You're just going to click the top picture, scroll down to the bottom picture, hold down shift, click the bottom one, and it's going to highlight all of the pictures in between. And then just right click, click add to timeline, and they're all there now. So, um, oh, one other thing. If you noticed, um, the timeline looks a lot more stretched out than it might look on your computer. Um, I made it this way because it's a lot easier to work with, I find, when it's um, longer like this. The default, I believe, looks like this. And it's a lot smaller, and I found it's just a lot harder to work with. So if you want to stretch it out like I have it, click on this line and drag it up. And that'll stretch it up to this. So we're going to zoom in on the timeline now by clicking on the magnifying glass with the plus sign on it. And just keep clicking on it until you're fully zoomed in. Okay, so now we have all the pictures, but as you can see, they're all one second long, and we need to make them one fifteenth of a second, which is considerably shorter. Okay, so we're going to start with the first picture. Um, when you're working with the picture, just first click on it so that you're, it's highlighted, so that indicates that you're working with that one. Then you're going to place your mouse on the line that separates the picture, picture one from picture two that space right there. Just put your mouse there. It's going to change from the arrow to these red arrows. And that's the trimmer tool which lets you stretch out the picture or trim it down. So you can make it smaller or bigger. And we're going to trim it down. So we're going to click, hold down the mouse, drag the edge of the picture to the left. It doesn't matter how far you go, just move your mouse to the left and then let go. You're going to see that the the picture is going to be smaller and the edge of the picture and the marker which is the blue line that indicates where you're working from that line there um, the space between it is going to be very small it's just going to be one fifteenth of a second which is what we're working with so we want to chop that part off and we're going to do that with control L which means you know press control plus L at the same time and it's going to turn into that you're going to now have two separate pictures and then just click on the bigger portion, what you're left with, um, press delete, and all you have left is one fifteenth of a second. So now you have to do that with all the pictures, um, but it's much quicker than when I'm telling you how to do it. Um, this is what I do. Uh, it's, it sounds long, but it's actually relatively fast. Just uh, take your hand, put your take your left hand, put your middle finger on the L button, put your pointing finger on the control button, and just scroll along uh, each frame and just drag your picture over to the left, chop it with control L, then just go to the next one. Don't worry about deleting, just do that with all the pictures. Just keep scrolling along, press control L with your hand in that position. Um, makes it a lot faster then just put your hand on the delete button scroll back and then just start clicking on the bigger portions that you're left with and just delete them one at a time and when you do that you're left with all your pictures at 1 15th of a second each and that means that you'll have 15 frames a second or 15 pictures will show every second uh, which looks relatively smooth and now we're going to make this little animation into a movie. Just click File, Save Movie File. And then this is basically just like when you're installing a game, just click, keep clicking the uh, Next button. Uh, you can name it though. The second option is to name it, whatever you want to. And then just get here and keep clicking Next and eventually it'll... Uh, start saving it onto your computer and then click finish and you're done. And now you have a little movie. Um, as for what I just made the uh, guy walking, this is what it looks like.